Hi, my name is Dan with ENS Security, and today I'm going to show you how to set up the Uniview cross-line detection on the NBR interface and the web interface. And to begin, I'm going to show you how to set up the cross-line detection on the Uniview system through the web browser. Again, I want to mention it's always best to make sure that the camera and the NBR that you're using have the latest firmware and support the features that you want. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Internet Explorer browser. And a little side note is make sure that your ActiveX settings are enabled. That way you can utilize the full features of the browser. The first thing you want to do is uh, type in the IP address of the recorder itself. So in this example, the, in the URL I put in 192.168.1.240. And as you can see here, you can see the login page after that. So I'm going to go ahead and put in the username. In this example, it's going to be admin. Password is going to be ENS lowercase 12345, and I'm going to click login. Okay, and then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I can see the camera on the web interface. So I'm going to go ahead and select the single view mode, and then go ahead and click on this, and then make sure it's set to master stream so you can see the full clear picture of it. So right now I can see the image, so that's good. So one of the first things I'm going to do to set this whole thing up is going to go to setup here at the top. And then under the client menu here, at the bottom where you see intelligent mark, you want to make sure that's set to on and you click save. The reason why you want to do that is because if you don't, you're not going to be able to see the analytics on the live view. Okay, so once that's done, click save and then you're going to see where it says operation succeeded. Once you're done with that part, you're going to go to the camera menu and then you're going to go to the where it says schedule. Okay. Here you're going to notice there's two types of schedule. One is recording schedule and then one is snapshot schedule. Okay, So we're going to start with the recording schedule and then select the camera. And then of course you want to make sure the recording schedule is going to be selected to be on. And then here you're going to notice the calendar and then there's going to be different color codes for different types of events. Since we're doing cross-line detection, that's considered an event. So you want to make sure that's uh, set up to uh, the right color. So you do that by first clicking edit. And then on this drop down menu here, you're going to make sure, of course, it's selected to event. And then at the bottom, you're going to copy to all the days that you want it to be set up for. And then you could click OK. Next, you're going to do the same thing for the snapshot schedule. Again, select the correct camera and make sure the snapshot schedule is on. And then go to edit. And then under the drop down menu, again, select event. And then again, copy to all the days that you want for the hours that you want. So as you can see here for event, it's going to be a light pinkish purple color. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click Save. Okay. Once you're done doing that, then the next part is to set up the analytics itself. So you do that by going to Smart. And then you can see where you have the VCA configuration. And then you're going to look for where it says Crossline Detection. You're going to make sure it's enabled under this checkbox. And then you're going to click this little gear icon to enter the menu. Okay. So here you have the live view of the camera itself and then you have different tabs of different settings to set up. So we're going to start with drawing the actual cross line itself. So you do that by clicking draw area. Okay. And then I'm going to draw a cross line as you can see here and I'm going to just drag it down to the area that I want. And of course you can, you know, manipulate the, you know, the angle of it as well too based on the situation. So I'm just going to make it a little bit longer. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm going to click finish drawing. And then next, you're going to see a trigger direction drop down menu. So you can see you have an option from going left to right or right to left or in both directions. So in this example, I'm going to select both, option, uh, both directions. And then here you're going to see sensitivity. So the higher the sensitivity, the more it's going to pick up an object that's crossing that area. So I'm going to maximize this. Okay, and then I'm going to select all. Okay, and then once I do that, I'm going to hit save. Next, I'm going to go to the arming schedule and then go to edit and then make sure it's selected to all the days and the hours that I want and click OK. Next, I'm going to click on the trigger action tab. Here, you're going to notice a couple of options that you can trigger. One of the most important things that you want to make sure that's triggered is the recording itself. So under the recording column, make sure that the D3 is selected, which it is by default. But if you want to select other options as well, like a buzzer of the NVR going off or an email notification or an alarm output, then you can do that as well too. Once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click save. 
Next, I'm gonna go to the live view to verify I can see the analytics. So I'm gonna go ahead and select the single view mode, select the camera, and then you can see here the cross line is showing on the live screen. So now we're gonna show this in action. As you can see, the person is walking past the detection area and you're gonna notice a red box around her. That means it's being picked up. So to verify that they got caught, you're gonna go into the smart menu and then on this left hand side, you're gonna to go towards this VCA search and then you're gonna select the camera that you want. In this example is D3. And then of course the, uh, the start and the end time. And then under event type, you wanna select where it says cross line detection and then click search. Once it loads up, you're gonna see a bunch of snapshots of the person being caught. So as you can see here, there's a lot of snapshots of that person being caught. So we're gonna go ahead and click on one of the pictures. And then you can see here, as soon as you do that, the snapshot's gonna be on the right hand side. And you can also do a playback video. You also wanna note here, it shows which camera it is, the date and time. Also the event type, which shows cross line detection. Just click play. And if you wanna see in larger view, go ahead and click on this double arrow button right here in the corner. And you can see the person walking through. And then to exit the full screen menu, just go ahead and click escape on your keyboard. And as simple as that. And now I'm gonna show you how to set up the cross line detection through the NVR local interface. So once you log into the interface, verify you can see the camera first, okay? Then you're gonna go into the main menu. And then one of the first things you wanna do is first go to system, okay? Then under the basic setup, you're gonna notice a little checkbox called Intelligent Mark. Make sure that's enabled because if you don't have that checked, then you're not gonna be able to see the analytics uh, live on the screen, okay? And then click Apply. Once you're done there, you're gonna to go to Storage, okay? And then this is where we're gonna set up the uh, event recording and snapshot schedule. So under the Recording tab here, uh, make sure you select the proper camera, okay? In this example, is D3. Make sure the Enable checkbox is checked, okay? And then you're gonna go ahead and click on edit, okay? And then under the event type, uh, since the analytics is classified as an event, make sure event is enabled or selected. Then you're gonna copy to all the days that you want, okay? And then click okay. And as you can see here, the schedule, color schedule is under event, so that means it's all showing a uh, light pinkish purple, which is what you want, okay? Once you do that, you're gonna go ahead and click apply. Then you're gonna do the second thing for the snapshot schedule as well too. Select the proper camera, D3 in this example. Make sure the enable schedule is checked. Then go to edit and then make sure event is selected. And then go ahead and copy to all the days that you want. And then click apply. And then you can verify that the color is correct, okay? Now what we're gonna do is go ahead and set up the cross line detection itself, okay? So you do that by going to the VCA menu here. Again, verify that the correct camera is selected, which is D3, okay? And then uh, right here where it says cross line detection, you're going to click the checkbox, okay? And then you're going to go ahead and click on the little gear icon. The menu is the same as the web interface, but it's just configured or oriented a little bit differently, but the same concepts apply. So from the top to bottom, we're going to go to trigger actions, okay? So one of the first things you want to do is make sure under the recording option, make sure the uh, D3 or the correct camera is checked, which it is by default, okay? But you always want to double check to verify. You can also trigger other events as well too, okay? And then once you're done, click OK. Then the arming schedule, again, just go ahead and make sure the, uh, the days that you want. So I'm gonna copy to all the days for this example, click apply and OK. Then what I'm gonna do now is actually draw the, uh, the cross line detection area, okay? So I'm gonna select the first one right here under where it says draw. And then I'm gonna go ahead and draw a cross line in this region right here, okay? And then you're gonna notice that uh, under the trigger direction, you have three options. You can go from B to A, A to B, or both directions, okay? So I'm gonna select both directions for this example. And the sensitivity uh, slide bar, you can adjust that. So if I wanna pick up things a lot easier or more, you know, then I'm gonna increase the sensitivity higher. So in this example, I'm gonna set it to the maximum, okay? Once you're done there, we're gonna go ahead and click apply, exit, and then I'm gonna go into the live view to verify I can see the cross line analytics shown on the live screen, which we do. 
And now we're going to see this in action. As you can see, she's walking towards the cross line area and the box turned from green to red, which means it picked her up. Okay, now we're going to verify the search. So we go into the main menu, go under VCA, and then under VCA search, we're going to go to where it says behavior search. You're going to select the right camera, which is D3 in this example, and then under the event type, we're going to select cross line detection and then hit search. Then you're going to go ahead and select the latest time, which is the most recent, check the box, and then on the right hand side, you can see here it shows the camera channel, the date and time, and the event type, which is cross line detection, and then you're going to hit play to verify that she walked through that area. So you can see she just walked through there. And that concludes our tutorial on how to set up the cross line detection on the Uniview system through the NVR interface and the web interface. Thank you for watching.